Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We're on day six here on Taupalo looking for our Cyndaquil and our Onyx, which are being ever elusive this week. We get 9,267 sneaky snacking to start the day and another five apples to go along with it, which is good. That's going to help a little bit for Sunday, tomorrow, hopefully. The problem is we are running really behind on getting ready for tomorrow. 3,876 sleep points total with another 100 added to it. And our daily gift is a biscuit. Hey, there we go. All right. Nice. Nice. But yeah, we are running really behind on our prep for tomorrow. Luckily, we're already at Master 1. Yeah, we're already at Master 1, so we shouldn't have any issues getting to Master 3. So maybe, maybe we don't need a lot of prep for tomorrow. May only need to make breakfast tomorrow just to make sure we hit that Master 3. But let's jump into our sleep report and see. I was very tired. I think one of these days I'm just going to go to bed early and I'm going to turn my alarm off and I'm just going to sleep until I wake up. But this does look good for our Cyndaquil hunt. 5% dozing and 63% snoozing with 32% slumbering. That's almost certainly a snoozing type sleep. It is, which is exactly what we need for our Cyndaquil to show up. We're going to get uh, just shy of 40 million today. I actually looked at the drowsy power before I do this. Most times I don't. Ooh, 38.6 million with only seven spawns. Interesting. I thought we'd be at eight by now hitting master one, but I guess not. Two three star sleeps. That's kind of wild. Two three star sleeps, five one stars, which gives us five chances at our Cyndaquil. I do see another fire starter down there, which is not the one we're looking for. Not quite the one we want, but maybe. Ooh, we have some new sleep styles. Only five of them. All of the one star sleeps were were ones we had already with the Rattata, Eevee, Wigglytuff, Jigglypuff, and Charmander. So we've got two new sleep styles. Both of the three star sleeps are new. So what do we have? Oh, they're both right here. Another Charmander. Which we kind of don't need anymore. Uh, three star sleep, tummy up. Super adorable. But we don't really need a Charmander anymore. Honestly, our Beware is doing so well on Sausage. Oh, that was our last sleep style for Charmander. So that's all done. But yeah, Beware is doing so well on Sausage that, uh, you know, Charizard used to be the king of Sausage, but now it's looking like it's not really necessary. And then for Doug Trio, we've got the Cozy Trio sleep, and they're just <laughs> laid over on the ground. <laughs> that one's kind of funny. Also, the last sleep style we needed for Doug Trio. We are just knocking them out today. All right, so unfortunately... For some reason, no Cyndaquil, and no one's hungry. Yeesh. Not, uh, not good. Honestly, out of all these spawns, none of them are really super important. Uh, yeah, out of everything that spawned here today, the only one that I would be interested in catching is Eevee, because of course we still need some better uh, Eeveelution candidates. For Jolteon, Glaceon... We might have a pretty decent Flareon, but we still need a few of the evolutions, so we definitely need to catch some Eevees, and it's, of course, not a big hit, because our luck this week has just been terrible. So it looks like, again, we are not taking anything home today. And only seven spawns on a Saturday. That's so weird. That's very weird. I feel like we should have had eight already, but... I don't know the numbers off the top of my head for uh, what it takes to get eight spawns. So it's probably, or it's definitely just me. It just feels weird. Anyway, we're gonna send out the Charmander candy, try to help out some of the newer players that may not be able to get a Stuffle yet for the sausage. This Charmander and Charizard will serve them well until they get one. But we got 1,587 research XP, quite a lot for only seven spawns, and 4,027 dream shards. Very good. Very, very good. Actually, we need to figure out how many dream shards we're up to currently. Uh, just for the quick check. Let's see. A little higher. There we go. 
It does cost 127,000 to max out the pot. Oh, we only have 53,000. We are way off. Never mind. All right, well, now that that humbling number has been put into my mind, no new news. Of course, we do have the event coming up, which is going to be very interesting. A full salad event. And for the community reports, we got 47. Very good. With 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 that doubled up. Not too bad. No level ups today. All right. And with that, we can... Oop. I definitely hit the wrong button there. That's what happens when you're not looking at the screen. All right. With that, we can collect... This guy has been doing really well since we evolved him. I definitely think that was the right call. He's gotten quite a few skill triggers too, which is not a lot of strength added, but every little bit adds up. I think he's done two skill triggers a day since I've evolved him. You have been doing fantastic. You, of course, are always fantastic. Uh, you've given me a little more sausage than I want, but that just goes to serve my point about uh, getting plenty of sausage from you. Why did only one get missed? That's super weird. Anyway, you've been doing great on the berry front. And I've been pretty happy with most of the team so far. You, of course, have been... You've actually been doing better yesterday in terms of corn. But not good enough to save you from being taken off the team. You, of course, are always fantastic. Oh, inventory is full. Okay, that's kind of a good thing, though. Kind of a good thing. So let's see. Uh, popcorn. Oh, not scones. Popcorn. Um, We actually have quite a lot of eggs. We may not need to put Deli Bart on the team for too long, but we do need to get some of these apples going. Uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and fill in with the sausage. Not apples. What am I talking about? Apples. Apples don't go in the uh, macarons. It's honey. That's the one. Which we have a hard time with honey. Still have yet to get a solid honey gatherer, but we did get 19,868 from this popcorn, which is level 42. The popcorn is uh, might be our first max rank dish. I don't know, with the way the macarons go on Sundays, they get quite a boost from hitting extra tasty, so maybe not. I've begun to ask myself, do I want to go back and make some of these lower level recipes and like complete the game by having all the low level recipes maxed out? But I feel like that would just make progress in the game grind to a halt, and I don't know that I want to do that. But I'm curious if any of you out there are thinking about doing something like that or have a desire to do so. Just to kind of get an idea of different ways that people could play the game. All right, so let's see. A little lower. Oh, too high. I really need to start paying attention to the screen. All right, so in our bag, let's see the ingredients. We've got 43 eggs, which is almost enough for two macarons. We have nah, we have no honey at all. So we desperately need honey. Uh, milk, we're doing okay. Cocoa, we have plenty. We're only trying to make at most two dishes tomorrow. And then we're going to stock up for the week after after that. So I think we're going to keep Blastoise on the team because he's usually pretty good about stocking up on ingredients. Um, not worried about the honey or the eggs at the moment. I am worried about the honey. So I think. I think for right now, I'm going to uh, the one thing I forgot to check oil. Let me see where we're at on oil. 39. Okay. So we can replace Toxicroak with Venusaur or Pinsir. And then we need to keep Beware and Dragonair on the team for corn, which is not good. 
Not good at all. Eggs, I'm not worried about. Milk, we're going to keep Blastoise on the team. So, yeah, the only change we need to make is uh, swapping out Toxicroak for Venusaur or Pinsir. Which, um, let's go ahead and check out which one's going to be the better choice. So, again, we're going to use this production comparison on the website. And let's see, we have our Venusaur, and we actually have two pincers to choose from. Or no, I forgot, I got rid of one pincer. I actually went through and got rid of the one that wasn't as good. Uh, I mean, it looks like pincer might be the way to go. Does bring in more honey. Um, if we get it to level 25, would that matter? No, it's inventory up. Inventory up would not help. And this pincer has such a bad PR that it's not really worth investing in. We're only using it because we don't have a better one. Yeah, 26 PR. It's not good. So we're only using it because we don't have a better pincer. And yet somehow it still outperforms our Venusaur. Just in honey production. Um... Okay, yeah, so Pinsir on the team. We're going to see how that goes. Hopefully, I mean, this will be enough for one one dish. This 21 will be enough for one dish. So if we could get that, that'll at least get us breakfast. And then about halfway towards making lunch. So hopefully that'll work out. I think that's the only change we're going to make today because we do still need the milk. And Blastoise is just good to have on the team for ingredients in general. Um, we really just need as much corn as possible. <laughs> no, I said corn, not sausage. Come on. Get it together, man. You're just trying to reinforce my point that you're better a better sausage gatherer than <laughs> Charizard is. That's funny. All right, yeah. So I think that's the only change we need to make today is just trying to get some honey in. The rest, just going to kind of have to see how it goes. But we're already pretty far. Uh, let's go ahead and grab those 15 diamonds for going to bed on time. Honestly, we may even be Master 3 by the end of today. If we get an extra tasty, which I haven't had one all week, so, you know, ones do. That's not how, how it really works. Stupid human intuition, though. But if we do get an extra tasty popcorn, that would put us to Master 3 by the end of today. At the very least, we really only need breakfast now that I'm thinking about it, and we can just stock up for next week. Um, other than that, I think we're doing all right. So that's, uh, yeah, that's going to be the plan. And that is all I've got for today. So thank you for watching the video. Make sure to have a wonderful day. And until next time, later, dudes.